Oh, hey, hi, welcome to a day in my life. This is just gonna be a day in my life, which I don't love doing these because it just like puts so much pressure on the day to be amazing. However, this week really just got away from me. I had so many assignments due and I have completed them all. I just have to do like a final round of proofreading before I hand them in. It's a Thursday and it's going to be a very busy Thursday. It's going to be a busy Thursday of a lot of computer work until the early afternoon. First and foremost, I just wrote, writing is going still really well. I'm still being quite consistent with it. Every single day in the morning I have woken up and I've spent at least an hour either typing away or staring at a blank page, but it doesn't matter because it's all progress. Nonetheless, it is all progress towards the end. Both projects still feel really great. This morning I wrote 1400 words and that amounted to about two scenes, about a scene and a half. And sometimes like days like today, you just kind of have to power through and put down words and moments, even if you don't feel like they're going to be great or that they're even gonna end up in the final draft. That's kind of what today felt like. Today felt like I was just kind of going through the motions of writing as opposed to really feeling the moments that I wanted to feel. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I find that for me, the way that I stay the most consistent is just to fight the perfectionism that every single thing, every single scene that I write has to be perfect and that it has to feel a certain way. I can always fix it later and nine times out of ten when I go back and reread they're not as bad as I think they are so that's what today was it felt great nonetheless to power through even if I don't know if the scenes are gonna end up in the final draft or even if they're good but whatever it's done and now I'm going to have a little bit of breakfast and then I'm going to start the official day I have class I have class, I have a meeting, I have another class, and then I have another meeting um, in the afternoon. And then after that, I am done. So I wrote out a little to-do list for myself. I also have to edit an assignment and hand it in. And then as a little treat, finishing all of this, I am going to pick up a new journal that I purchased a while ago. It is a new bullet journal. I'm starting a bullet journal in the middle of February. I don't care, I'm very excited for it. I just got overwhelmed with my regular bullet journaling. So that's it, that's all, that's gonna be the day. Thanks for being here, thanks for clicking, and let's get into it the day ahead and just try to maintain our sanity, shall we?
whip up my appetite. Don't leave me here high and dry. Oh, well, I don't want to jinx it, baby. Oh, there's so much talking in the background because I'm still in class, but oh my god. It's so silly outside. I feel like this is the first snowfall we've had in like months. I um, just finished up all of my classes for the day and we are snuggling for a little bit. <laughs> We're snuggling for a little bit until I have my next meeting at 2 p.m. And then after that meeting, I'm done for the day. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to go and I'm going to get my journal at the post office and then... I think we're going to curl up and read. <laughs> Are you helping me line up my shot? I thought he was coming to hang out with me, but it turns out that it's just because there's a new box and he's very excited about it. I got my journal. I have been waiting for this journal for almost a month now, probably over a month actually. I think I ordered it on January 8th. It was initially returned due to some issue with the post office. So I have been without a bullet journal for so long, too long, longer than I think I've ever been in the past few years. And I've just been drifting. And so I'm gonna open this and check it out. And then I'm gonna give this guy the box because he loves boxes. So let's see. Would you like to see? It's exciting. Exciting stuff. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Boiled edges. It's so, it just, it feels so nice. I don't think I've ever felt a journal like this before. It's like super thin and malleable. Okay, so it does have pre-made spreads. So it's got, the beginning is all like monthly spreads, as you can see, which is fantastic. And then it gets into weekly spreads. And the weekly spreads have pages with the time stamps on it, which is so great. And so I'm starting it randomly the middle of February. I know that might hurt some people, but frankly, I don't believe in like waiting for a Monday start or waiting for a new month start to do things that you want to do. If you want to do something, start it right away. Otherwise, I feel like I just procrastinate. And with the weekly spreads that have already passed by, so like for instance, this like first of February week spread, I'm gonna actually use it to track my reading because the font is light enough that I can just write over it and it won't really upset me. And then the back is all square. Yeah, there's 120 pages that are just blank, which I feel like I'm gonna use for actual journaling and oh my gosh can you see how it's laying flat this is a fantastic journal i am so excited to use this oh i love it okay so i'm not sending this up today because i can't i can't do it today i have to like it's got to be special so i am going to set it up on saturday it's thursday today tomorrow is going to be a classes and cleaning day and then i think saturday is going to be a day of setting this up but oh my gosh it was expensive it was a birthday present to myself but it was so worth it i'm gonna love it i think i'm gonna really love this i love new journals oh open
open this window. Yes, I am sitting in front of an open window. But it's also, I'm sitting also in front of a rad, so it's actually, it counters each other out. I'm officially done for the day, I feel like. I feel like I'm done for the day. And so I'm going to curl up and I'm going to read my new book that I'm reading, which is called, someone's biting a cardboard box over there. The book that I'm currently reading is called The Will of the Many by James Islington. I just picked this up on Monday, actually, because we went to a bookstore to escape a little bit and this was on sale and it sounds fantastic. Tom has read previous books by James Islington and loved, loved them. Those are called The Shadow of What Was Lost, but I can't remember what the name of the actual series is called. The description of this one sounds really, really good. It's adult fantasy, which I rarely read, believe it or not, other than like romanticy, but like high fantasy. Excuse you, but high fantasy, I rarely read. And so it <laughs> sounds like it, it has a little bit of dark academia meets like the hunger games elements there's also a storyline of like secret identity it also has like a roman-esque inspired world and that's about all i know so far i've only read the first chapter it's somewhat confusing however i can already tell it's written really well and i'm already rooting for the main character even though i have no idea who they are so i'm gonna curl up and i'm gonna escape away into this i really want to read this this weekend because I'm starting a full-time placement next week and that involves quite a big commute and I don't know if I necessarily want to bring this. However, that being said, I will be relying on audiobooks. So let me know what audiobooks you like because I feel like I've got a bunch from the library but I have no idea where to start. So hit that up down below. In the meantime, I got my mango slices here and my fresh winter air and I'm going to read away and it's going to be glorious.